Hey Libra, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's get the cards activated into the Libra energy. This reading could be for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And this um, reading is for Libra. I will be representing Libra. Um, cross watchers, you're welcome to be here. Uh, but just know that I will be representing Libra um, in this reading. Okay. Let's get into this energy, Libra. Let's get into this energy. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. There we go. All right. Let's see what's here for Libra. King of Swords. What is this? We have Strength. Chariot and the Three of Cups. Interesting. But out on the table is the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Rods. Oh, gosh. And we have the Five of Rods with the Nine of Rods clarifying. High Priestess in Reverse. And the Page of Rods. <laughs> Interesting energy, Libra, uh, for the month. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Uh, we have the King of Swords here. So you're stepping in the month in, in a masculine air energy. So there's something here you're working on, uh, probably uh, connected in with your future. And there's probably a decision that's coming up for you or something that you've decided to do. Um, it is overall a good thing. It's overall the thing that's going, it's overall the thing that's going to help you the most as you move into the future. And um it has, with the King of Swords, it has probably taken a little bit of time for you to uh, find a way through this. Uh, this has to do with strategy, has to do with clear thinking, investigation, seeing the whole truth of a situation, and then making a decision based on that. And there's probably some pros and cons here. And um, there's probably some, with the King of Swords, it, it had to have been something that was worth the time of thinking about it, right? It was something that was worth your time and thinking about it. And there's probably some pros and cons here. Um, and that's why you needed that masculine energy. Um, not that the feminine, feminine is very, uh, in the air energy, uh, is a very clear thinking, um, very observant kind of energy. The King of Swords is, is a little bit more, um, you know, it's a masculine energy, so it's not as emotional as it, it's more logical. Uh, a refi it, it's, a, uh, it's a it's a masculine energy. So for Libra, you guys are. It, uh, mm. uh, tell me more about this King of King of Swords. Tell me more about this. What does the King of Swords have to say? What does your King of Swords have to say? What if, is there something that's being released here? Something that's being said. Something that's being done. Something that's being released. So what does the King of Swords have to say? What does your King of Swords have to say? Two of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something about work, something about uh, Queen of Cups. Okay, so um, this for many of you the, the, for many of you this has to do with work. Um, it's something that you and only you can do. It has a very refined, that's what it's coming forward earlier, and I didn't really understand it. Very refined skill that you have, or you're working on refining a skill. This really is, okay, do I do this first or that? Like, how do I put this all together? And I think that you could have either had, you could have had two different options, right? You could have chosen one over the other. Now, it's going to be very logical. Um, so... Uh, and, and I do think that there is a journey here ahead. I do think there's a journey here ahead. Uh, the question is, what's, what's, where, what, what's going to be most helpful for you in the long run? What's going to be the most nourishing? What's going to fill your cup? And we have to remember who, what fills our cup? What in life fills our cup? Yes, money does. And it, and, and I do think this has something to do with money, it has something to do with a future career or something that you're doing, um, connected in with money. We can't ignore that this is, uh, these are pentacles here. We can't ignore that it's connected in with the earthly plane, 
uh, with betterment in life, with focus on abundant earning, you know, abundance. But we're also talking about here um, the the beings in our life, the live ones in our life, uh, those our family members, our children. Um, what nourishes us, and it connects in with the emotions in a very high level kind of way. Uh, and I think that you are thinking about how is my future going to be? How are people around me going to accept this? How am I going to connect in with um, with the world around me? And somehow that is here to fill the cup. And this is a very um, Libra kind of energy, connects in um, to the air and to the greater good of things um, is what's coming forward. Now, as you're moving forward, um, the first part of the month, you are in the high priestess in reverse. So there are some things that you're doing here that could be a little surprising to people, could be a little surprising to yourself. Um, I do think that the control that you've had over what you've said and how you've been um, moving forward, I think some of that control is, is, is lessening now. You're a little bit more flexible in the words that you say and the actions that you take. And I think uh, the, this time that you've spent here with the high priestess energy, um, that high priestess energy is kind of taking a back seat now as your king of swords makes a move forward. Um, so, uh, you, you've spent time connecting in. You've spent time learning about this. You've you've really done your work here. And now the high priestess can take a step back. She can rest. And as you're moving forward, now the information comes out. Now um, the picture is clear and, and you can move forward in a much more, there's like a jovial sense here, more jovial energy. And here's the Knight of Wands. It, it, Knight of Wands can be like a little bit more of a jo jovial energy. Um, so I do think, um, Libri, that you are moving forward. I think that you are moving forward with something that's very um, exciting for you. Uh, you're doing it, uh, it the time is, where there is going to be something that moves forward, and you're just doing it, right? I think the planning is over, the learning is over, uh, the the direction is set, is set and uh, sometime uh, you do move forward with something that is exciting for you. I think that you are um, pretty exuberant about it. Your your energy is contagious. Um, I, I do think that you're going to be at a good place. The energy is going to be at a good place for you to kind of step into this because the King of Swords likes to think about it. He likes to think about it before he does it. That's the King of Swords kind of energy. So there is something that's happening here. Uh, I would say in the middle part of the month, as we move into the month, maybe the second week or the third week where you're just uh, jumping into something. Um, you're ready. The time is now. And you have this dynamic energy about you. As you're moving into the second part of the month, you're in the frequency of the page of rods. I mean, I think you can start to, you're, you're starting to see how this is going to play out. And I think that is exciting for you. Uh, the page of rods is a lighter energy. It's a younger energy. So I do think that you, you're, you're saying here, like I'm at the beginning of this journey. Um, and I think you're being really realistic about what you're expecting. Um, it's, it's an energy of, okay, my horizons are opening up. There are new options here in front of me. And I'm I'm excited about where this is going. I don't really know where I'm going because the Page of Rods is a very early energy. It's early in the trip. It's early in the path. <laughs> it's early in the adventure, right? And when we're on an adventure, especially on an adventure with the Knight of Wands, um, you know, we, we don't know how it's going to go, but we're excited about it. And we know that there's new opportunities, right? That's the energy that we have here. Um, now, as you're moving out of the month, uh, we do have you in the um, five of wands with the nine of rods. There, there's something here that you're encountering as you're ending the month. Um, maybe there could be uh, like some technology issues or there could be um, there, there could be. You know, let's say let's say you're putting something out on YouTube. Maybe there could be something that you took a snip of music and you put it in and maybe that music wasn't allowed by YouTube or something. I'm just saying a five of wands is like something that comes up that you might not have been expecting where it kind of delays things. It can create a little bit of complexity. Uh, it's nothing to chase you off. You're still there. Uh, it's just part of the part of the journey. But I do feel like um, there could even be competition here. There could be some competition um, in in this journey, but it's, it doesn't, you know why you're there, you know why you're doing it. And I think that you are kind of uh, noticing, you're noticing this, you're, you're aware of this. And I am, I'm almost thinking that this five of wands is, 
something that's happening around you. I'm not necessarily sure that you yourself are experiencing the five of wands because I feel like this nine of rods is more your energy, Libra. I feel like there's something here. I'm going to go into this five of wands and see what's connected into it um, because I feel like this is more your energy. Uh, and this is the card we saw first. And then there's like an under, there's, there's something happening that you're watching. Um, you're not very happy about it. Let's go into the five of wands. Tell me more about this five of wands. Six. There is. Okay. Um, we have the six of swords here with the ace of rods. Uh, it's almost feeling like somebody else or somebody around you is coming towards you with an idea. <laughs> Gosh, when you get in this kind of manifestation energy, you just can never be sure what is going to happen down the road. But it feels like to me um, that somebody is coming towards you with an idea or something that they're doing. Now, why are you in the nine of rods? Well, it's it's like you this at conflict with what you're doing, not, not necessarily bad. It's just different than what you were doing. It's almost like you started out on something new, got your feet planted, got settled in that new energy. And right as you started to feel um, like horizons were expanding and this was great and I'm excited about what I'm doing. It's like there's something else that comes towards you and creates an interruption or interrupts your flow. Now it's a six of swords with the ace of rods. <laughs> it is a good energy. It is something that I think is going to be appealing to you, but it comes in quickly and it could be connected into this Knight of Wands. For some of you, this Knight of Wands is exactly what's bringing in um, some sort of uh, almost like an alternate offer, another option. And the way you're looking at it is, I'm not sure if I have the energy for that. I'm not sure if I can do that. I'm not sure if that's really what my life is going to be about. It's very interesting. This five of wands is actually for many of you, something quite alluring and it could be very exciting. And it comes with the six of swords. So there has been some planning here. <laughs> some work has already been done on this. It is, it is being brought to you in an effort. Somebody is in a, a, uh, is is moving forward with something that they have a considerable amount of uh, confidence in. They've planned it. They have understanding. Um, it's carried them forward into a more peaceful place. And there is a new exciting opportunity here. I feel it's connecting into Libra and that's coming in at the end of the month. Um, some of you could be starting something new, making a decision, starting something new with a project that you have. And lo and behold, it's like there is an option number two that's brought in quite quickly, quite quickly, quite quickly, quite quickly. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that two times, but um, there might have been there. There might even be like somebody who's asking you twice. Are you sure? You know, are you sure you don't want to do this? Are you sure you're not interested in this? You're looking at it like an interference or a. Um, or a, like a, you're looking, you're wondering if it could be something like slightly manipulative because you're here with the nine of rods. Look, you've encountered a lot in the past couple of years, I would have to say. And I think a lot of people have been like this. There is a lack of trust. I mean, we really, we have learned to trust ourselves, haven't we? We've really learned to trust ourselves and to trust what we know and to trust the guidance that we connect in with. And we, it's like there is a little bit of a surprise here at the end of the month. Something exciting is coming towards you. Uh, it could have something to do with travel because it is connected to the Ace of Rods. Uh, but you're here in this place, like saying, I'm not sure if this connects in with my life path. I'm not sure if it connects in with my morals. I'm not sure, but it, it does have the Ace of Rods. So, uh, wow. Um, Let's go into this Ace of Rods and see if we can get a little bit more information here. Page of Pentacles. It could even come with an offer of money. It could come with a with some sort of increased income. There could be a little uh, commission that comes with it. 
There could be an offer, like, do you want to, here I have a proposal for you, would you like to look at it? That could be a page of pentacles too. Nine of swords. Gosh, it's going to be something that's really going to, yeah, you're going to th be thinking about it for sure. For sure, you're going to be, two nines. The harder nines too. The harder nines, the harder nine energies. Well, I mean, I think this group of Libra, you know, before you jump on board something, I think that you are um, going to take a long, hard look at it because you've had a king of swords here. You've made a decision. You've had clarity. But then again, you do have this two of pentacles here. So there is a flexibility within as well. Sometimes our spirit guides set us up for these things. <laughs> and we just don't have any idea about it until it happens. Um, I'm going to pull another card here. Three of Pentacles, something to work on. It's in an early stage. It's in an early stage, but then again, it connects into, it's, it's gosh, for so many of you, this is work. For so many of you, this is connecting into work, to an occupation, or to a hobby, or something that connects into a skill and a talent that you have. It might come with a difficult personality. <laughs> um, let's get a different deck here and go in and say, who's connected in with this? Who's connected in with this? Who's connected in with this? Tower. Damn, some, there, there is a potential change here. Six of Cups. Connected into family or a soulmate or a family occupation. Why is a tower here? Could really bring a change in. Could be very fast. The sun energy. This could be something that your family would really like. This could be something that could change a lot of things up for you. And here's here you are like, well, would this fit into my, does this fit me? Does this fit me? Is it what my family wants or is it what I want? I don't know. There, there is, it's, it's like you were just on a path. You, you've got it figured out. And now there's something here that has a lot of potency it's connected to success. It's connected to healing. It's connected to certain kind of wealth with the sun. We have the six of cups. It could really bring healing. It could be very much connected to your homeland, to your family, to the, to the land, to the roots of who you are, but it comes in with a tower. Why is a tower here? I'm just going to keep going down this rabbit hole. Why is a tower here? Ten of swords. It's going to bring an ending. It's going to bring some sort of an ending. Ten of Swords. Well, you, you're in the Nine of Rods. I mean, life has not been easy. Life has not been easy, but it's just started to get better. <laughs> it's just started to get better. You've just connected into this clarity, a plan of what you're doing. You could have told people already you're doing something. High Priestess in Reverse. You could have told someone you're doing something, and you could have said it in a way that's like very... um like Knight of Wands energy. In fact, you could be in like a vortex of the Knight of Wands, which is fast movement, excitement, moving ahead, right? And you're in that energy. It's almost like once you're in that energy, spirit's going to, or your, uh, the universe is going to start dropping things towards you. How about this? How about this? You're going to, wait, I'm already on, I'm already doing something. I already have it figured out. King of Swords. And the universe is like, oh, you're in a great energy. How about this? How about this? So it, it, this new opportunity that comes in, it's like comes in out of the blue. It could create a, a, quite a dynamic change for you, but it is connected to the sun and it does bring a lot of beautiful relief. So yeah, there, there are, it feels like for, for Libra, there, are, there could be two opportunities for you this month. One, you've already kind of, you know, settled into or decided to settle into. And then all, then you could have another one that's, Boom, here it is. Wow. 
could be connected into family or to a soulmate or to a best friend. It could be something that really draws people together. It could be a great surprise. <laughs> it could come with some very dynamic um, information. It's interesting that you have the tower and the sun together with the ten of swords. Um, man, this is this is that's why you have this nine of swords here. Because this is something that has a certain appeal for you. Yeah, Spirit just showed me, I said it has a certain appeal for you, and Spirit just showed me a banana peel. See, that's my team. They're funny with words, but then it's also kind of interesting because it, it is going to cause you to kind of slip because it's it's going to be something that you, um, it's going to be something that causes you to kind of, it's, it's something that you're going to slide into. It's something that you're going to slide into and you're in this great energy. Your mind is quite expansive at this time. You're in a good place. But but again, it's something that you feel could be. It's it's like, why does it have to happen now? Why couldn't this have happened five months ago? Why couldn't have it happened five months ago? It's like you're leery of it. That's how we are when we go through hard things. Like, and that's the Queen of Swords. That, that's your feminine energy. I, I feel like this is your feminine energy. This Nine of Rods. It's like you've already connected in with the masculine. The masculine has decided. And now there is an option, I think, that's probably okay for the masculine. But the feminine inside you is saying, wait a second, I feel odd about this. It, it You know, there, there's like some inner complaints. Why didn't it happen before? Why now? Um, why so fast? What's the hurry? It's just that kind of an energy. Um, let's look at money. Let's look at money for the month of... Let's look at money. Let's look at money. Money for the Libra consciousness lover's energy. Um, there could be some sort of money being made uh, in, in connection with another person. Uh, you could be working with another person or a group of people where you get together um, in a very short amount of time. You could make some money. That's what I'm feeling like. There could be like a, a, a something that you're doing. Uh, that requires like a very concerted effort for a very intense amount of time where you're coming together very intensely to work on a project or something that you'll separate again after that. That's what it feels like. Connect it into money. It has an energy of like a dynamic quality, some sort of dynamic quality around it. Let's see what else comes out for money. We have strength energy. Um, could it, it could there could be a certain amount of worry around this, but I think it's also about working with another person or another group of people and how we like how we blend in. It's like we can't take control, but we can do what we can do, and then for the rest of it, we're we're okay with letting other people do things. That's sort of the lover's energy, being a team. The lover's energy comes it comes in and it bonds, and then it. And then um, I feel like it'll break away again. Not that the relationships will be, it's, it's just like a group of people. Okay, are we ready? Okay, we have two days to do this. Let's, let's go. Let's, you know, and it, it's somewhat hard. It's somewhat hard. Ten of Swords. Um, I think ultimately it could be, you could be doing some planning for the future here. And I think in deep inside, whatever you're doing financially, it's like you're, I don't think you're going to be doing this anymore. There's something here that you're doing differently than you've done before. There could be like a little bit more of a team energy here, which we know with the lovers. But then again, I feel like um, with the Hermit and the Ten of Swords, 
it's like deep down you might be thinking okay in the future it's got to be different than this in the future it has to be different i'm wondering if this is kind of entangles you in a financial obligation or something lover's energy can do that to us it can be quite influential we can get pulled into things with the lover's energy that's why it always comes with with a, um, a reminder to make careful decisions because we can get caught up we can really get caught up. We can get caught up with another person or we can get caught up with another excitement. We can get caught up in that energy. I think you're aware of that. You're staying very careful. And then in, inside you're, it's like, okay, this is the last time or something. It's like, it's from now on, it, it's going to be different. This might be, it's like, um, you might be kind of manipulated into doing something or paying for something or sharing your wealth in some way where you're saying, well, from now on, I think I'm going to try to do it in a different way. Possibly. Um, let's look at uh, romantic love this month. Let's look at romantic love this month. Romantic love. Romantic love for Libra. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords energy. She's in a neutral place. Queen of Cups. Star energy. When it comes to romantic love, um, here you are, Libra, and I feel like you are recognizing that um, it, nothing really needs to be said right now. Nothing really needs to be said. I think you're understanding the situation and... Um, maybe there's even something that you contributed to because the Queen of Swords, like, um, I'm just with the body language stuff that I know and different things like that. It's, it's the way she's looking down. She's looking at that sword. Um, you could be thinking about something that you're going to say. You could be uh, even thinking like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said it that way. It's like you're analyzing the sword. That's what it looks like to me. And um, I know behaviors and where and things like that. So that's what it feels like to me that you're kind of analyzing the words, analyzing the thoughts, but I don't feel like you're saying anything right now. Whatever it is, like you're okay with the problem. You're okay with what it, what, how it is right now. It's just, yeah. And then we have the queen of cups. So there could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio here, but, but also this is really, uh, you're, you're really focusing on the self. So lots of times the queen of swords is someone who can, see the problems out there, you know, see the problems out there in the world because the Queen of Swords has been through quite a lot. And whatever is happening out there right now, whatever is going on where you would be a, a, like a feisty contributor to the betterment of the good or you would be um, in some journey to help or to bring change in some way or, or to advocate for something like, you know, you have a dynamic advocate within you it feels like this the, this is more about your own comfort your own finances the 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 activities that help you to feel loved and to be nourished not only um, self-nourishment but the nourishment of others around you connecting in to the heart space right connecting into the heart space and um, the queen of swords her heart can be moved by by trauma and by hardship and by um the strength and the and the and the willpower uh, of people in the world and it can also be nourished um and and it can be brought to life um the heart of the queen of swords by the people the the people around her and it feels like to me there's something here about the the deep heart connections and how those connections can help fill the soul it feels like it's like you're connecting instead of being out in like focus, instead of your eyes and your heart being connected to the, the more of the world energy, you are connecting into what feels like a deeper part of you, which would be connected to family, connected to a like a, um, um, a financial security with the Queen of Cups. Um, connections with loved ones around you, something like that, because um, you are now learning about filling your cup in a new way. It's almost like you've moved into a new awareness or something. Well, you do have the masculine king of swords here. Now you have the queen of swords. So that's why we have the king of swords, that logic, that rationale, 
um, knowing what's best. It's a masculine energy. It's, uh, and your feminine is, 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 is more in the queen of cups. That's where your feminine energy is. You do have the star though. So, um, you're in, you know, you could have revealed something about yourself. People do know you people, the people that are closest to you, they are gaining, uh, knowledge about you. They're, they're learning about you and they're learning about you in a very real way. And when we come forward in our real selves, uh, it, sometimes it takes a little while for people to, um, to, to be okay with, to be okay with that. Because when we move into the star energy, our true self is revealed, right? And those things that we did before that maybe hid how we felt or, um, hid our true goals or, uh, we could, we could have hid our, our religion. We could have, you know, there's lots of things that we can brush over or hide or, uh, because when, as we're moving into the star, before we get into the star position, uh, we could be, we, we can really be influenced by others. We can change our, our, our interests because of others. We can be manipulated by others. When we're in the star energy, uh, we know what our truth is. And sometimes it takes a little while for people to uh, be okay with that. So romantically, it feels like whatever is happening with your partner or, or with in your romantic pursuits, I do feel like that uh, edginess that the Queen of Swords can have, um, that uh, I'm hearing that devout sense of um, uh, devout sense of caretaking in a Queen of Swords way, that really has softened. And you're looking at okay, as I move forward, what's going to help me to feel secure? What's going to help me to feel loved? And really, that comes down to self love and self love. Um, from what I've been learning, and that's just my opinion, but sometimes it, it really is connected to doing those hard things like taking good care of our cars so that we don't have a flat tire when we're driving on the freeway, right? And making sure that we have enough time to stop at the grocery store to get healthy food uh, and things like that. That is the Queen of Cups energy. And so I think that you're in a very honest place because you do have the king of swords. You're in a very honest place with things. And I think that you are really uh, taking time to make sure that the decisions you make, the, the actions that you take really do help to fill your cup, whether that's your financial cup, whether that's your love cup, it all connects into this one, um, I'm hearing chalice. It's very interesting. Um, and, and you are in, in a real truthful place. So it's very interesting. Um, it's, it, it might be hard to explain. And maybe that's why the Queen of Swords is in a very quiet place. It might be hard to explain. How does, uh, if you have a partner, so some of you might be, um, you know, doing some soul searching or kind of changing your interest in maybe the type of people that you're connected to some of you the, some of you might be in 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 a single and you guys might be single um if you have partners how do your partners feel about this how do the libra partners feel about this eight of rods eight of cups eight of rods eight of cups eight energies Um, in love, there could be really people making some changes and the, these changes could come quite quickly. And I do feel like this is connecting into love in a different way. It's connecting into love in a different way. There could be people really changing how they connect in with, with each other. There could be people really changing their strategies of dating, social mingling, I mean, there has been a period of emptiness here, right? There has been a period of um, really not paying attention or really not being interested or maybe, and like I said before, there there is a, when we level up, and I think so many of us have leveled up, we've really gained new awarenesses. We have a new sense of self. We understand each other better. We understand ourselves better. Uh, when we do that, we really do kind of move away. It's, it's like there's been a bunch of people here who have been in the hermit. There have been a bunch of, there are a bunch of people here who have been in the hermit energy. And in that energy, they have realized some very important things about themselves. And 
it's like when this dating or the interest in dating comes in again, there's going to be a new sense of honesty. <laughs> I mean, um, but there is excitement here too. So I feel like there, there could be people that are starting like online dating. <laughs> um, I don't, there's new interest, but there's also like a lag. There, there's also like a, a new clarity about what Libra is interested in. Those are like opposite energies. Gosh, it's so interesting. Um, there's definitely some people here who have reached a new space in their own emotional, um, emotional healing and in their life. Um, they have new, they have found a new sense of happiness. They found a new sense of togetherness. Uh, and it does come from a very simple state of being. And with the four of pentacles, I mean, I do, it looks like there are priorities here that you're being very careful of. You know what your priorities are. And you want to make sure that as you're moving forward, you don't have to give up on any of those things, right? And I think even financially, you're being very wary financially. Ten of Cups, like you have, you already have within yourself this, this, this peaceful happiness is what it feels like to me. You don't need all those things that you used to find interesting. It's like there, there could be even new interests here. There could be even new interests. There could be travel here. There could be new adventure. There could be, um, new friends. You could be interested in completely different people than you used to be. Ten of cups. I mean, there's a, there's a newfound sense of happiness here. And I don't even know if it's newfound. You have the star energy with the queen of cups with the king of swords i think this is something that you've just slowly it feels like with the king of swords energy with the high priestess in reverse it's something that you've kind of slowly gained over time and these things that you've gained over time this happiness this state of being it's something that you're holding on to quite tightly while you're um fine with your own dreams and goals you have made a few changes in what you're interested in and um, it's very interesting uh, how will for this group of people that are moving through like a uh, a transformation in the dating process or in the interest in the in certain dating, um, how will this move forward? How will this? I, I feel like this is just a small group of you. To be honest with you, I'm not sure why I'm connecting into this small group, but I think sometimes these people, um, these kind of people that go through emotional changes like this and emotional strengthening and have a new emotional intelligence. It does require like a change in social connections somehow. How will this move forward for this group? I'm not sure if I'm going to connect into this small group into the future. So I want to kind of see like for the, the rest of the year for this group of Libras, I feel like you guys, most of you could be single. The ones I'm looking at, how will dating and romantic pursuits be for the rest of the year? Let's look at the rest of the year for this group because I really am curious. I have some cards in this deck that's not, that are not in this deck. Curious about how this is going to go for you guys. Yeah, and the cards don't even really want, this, this is a new energy. You guys are, there's a group of you that are connecting into a new energy around social connections, dating. Um, it's like a new energy. It's like every, yeah, I'm, Spirit's, Spirit's showing me like at one point we're all kind of together. We were all kind of together intermingling and then we all separated. And as we we're all separated, uh, we went through our own little, our, our own little personal journeys. And when we do that, when we come out on the other side, we do feel different about ourselves and about who we're interested in. And it is my belief that many of us have started to incorporate the shadow of ourselves into our public personalities. And then we, and then with that star energy there, we are in our much more authentic selves, which 
then we begin to realize uh, what we truly like and what we don't like. How will the rest of the year be for this group of Libra people when it comes to dating? Four of Pentacles. Carefulness. Uh, uh, why is my, my card? I just noticed like everything's tilted for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I jostled my camera or something. Four of Pentacles. Carefulness, holding things close to your chest, uh, a priority priorities on priorities on priorities. Queen of Pentacles. Does it make financial sense? How do I feel financially? Does it fit into my agenda? Does it fit into my schedule? How will it affect me tomorrow if I go out on a date tonight? Will I be feeling okay tomorrow? I have so much work to do. I'm excited about my future. The Queen of Pentacles, um, it feels like this, this Queen of Pentacles energy is a, is like a, um, Queen of Pentacles. She's very good about being pra practical and logical. King of Rods. So there's Kings of Rods here. Is this group of Libra people um, attracted to the King of Rods? King of Rods energy, which is this fiery, dynamic, go-getter personality, King of Rods. Um, the, um, dang, let's go into this King of Rods because this might be um, a, um, a type of masculine that this group of feminines could be attracted to in the future. Um, what will this King of Rods energy like about Libra? What will this King of Rods energy like about Libra? Let's go ahead and shuffle because I want to get into this King of Rods energy. Are, are, are you guys in, um, are you, I'm wondering if this group of Libras are connecting in to a certain kind of, because these kings of rods would have went through their own journeys. They would have went through their own ways of expanding themselves and of learning about themselves over the past, um, over the past couple of years. I feel like this is like a couple of year journey for these people. Tell me more about this king of rods. Why, why is he going to like these, this group of Libra? What, what will be attracting him? What will be attracting him to Libra? This king of rods. Okay, well, I'm hearing that there is a, a, a stabilization and a, a quality that's that's very attractive. This King of Rods has something that he wants to do. He has goals. He has dreams. He has intentions. He's busy. He's inventing. He's moving forward. And he sees this Queen of Pentacles, this uh, responsibility, the reliability, the, um, the hardworking energy, the carefulness. Uh, the planning, um, the resilience that this group of Libras has. And I think that those qualities could be quite attractive to the King of Rods. In fact, the King of Rods, a lot of times are connected in, um, are connected into, to Libra and to air signs because of the quality between fire and air. So let's, um, how is the King of Rods attracted? Um, six of Rods. It's almost like, um, the King of Rods can do a lot of things, but he could possibly do it way better connected in with the Queen of Pentacles, right? He can do it way better. He might need the Queen of Pentacles to help him in some ways. This is masculine now, um, to stay steady and to stay strong and to stay encouraged in what he's doing. He might like the Queen of Pentacles to ask him, you know, really reasonable, careful questions. Well, have you thought of this? Have you thought of that? Gosh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Sometimes the King of Rods doesn't think of everything, right? Queen of Pentacles, she's pretty realistic about things. But then again, the Queen of Pentacles is willing to take action. If it makes sense, if it calls to her, if it's lucrative, if it's promising, if it's um, if it's something that appeals to her basic nature, uh, she is willing to m make movements. King of Pentacles. There is a King of Pentacles with the Ace of Rods. Ooh. 
king and queen of pentacles here. Well, the king of Pen uh, the king of pentacles is here because this probably is something that is very um It's probably something that it could even be connected into business with the King of Pentacles. It almost feels like there's a group of Libra people who are going to connect in with a group of, of, of kings of rods, um, strong fire, masculine fire. And in this effort, there will be like joint work or joint, a joint effort. Um, it does look like there's something to be done. It's something to be done, and it might make sense. Or I think it does make sense financially. It makes sense in so many different ways. I think that's why there's going to be attraction here, because here's the Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is in a very, like, very uh, um, conservative place, and whatever this King of Rods is coming for, and and the, these this group of kings, King of Rods. Um, he's, he's moving forward with something that's really exciting and new. And it does have a lot of, I, I say that it's very intentional and it's well thought out. And that's going to be attracted to this group of, of Queen of Pentacles because she's in a very conservative place. So there are some people here that are going to be connecting in the next six months. And the connections are more than just um, a mutual, uh, enjoyment of one another, right? They're more, they're deeper. The, the journey can go farther. There could be more financial wealth here, more opportunity here, um, with connecting both of these personalities together. And this is connecting in romantically. Ace of Rods, I mean, it will be exciting. Queen of Pentacles likes enjoyment. She really does like to enjoy her life. Does she get to very much? Does a queen of pentacles get to enjoy her life very much? She works hard. She carries everything forward. She's the, you know, she's, she's like the, the foundation of any financial gain, really, queen of pentacles. She works really damn hard. Um, you know, Libra, this group of Libra people, you guys have been through a lot. And I think that this new, uh, kind of, combination it's like a combination of love and business love and success it's going to have like a very magnetic pull to the to the queen of pentacles because there's this reliability that's connected to this king of rods it'd be interesting to know that this group of king of rods what they've been through to get them to this place because they're on their way to being an emperor They've got the King of Pentacles and the King of Rods. They're on their way to being an emperor energy. And here you are, Libra, in the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. You're moving forward, uh, too, in, in a way to, to move into the Empress energy. It's really interesting. I do think there's, there's a group of you that are going to connect in with these fire, these fire kings, <laughs> these fire kings, um, in the next few months, or in the, at least in the next six months. It's going to be exciting, and I think it's going to be really refreshing. Uh, it's going to be a nice adventure for the, the Queen of Pentacles, who's wor worked very hard and stayed very careful um, in her journey. And it does connect with the King of Pentacles, so that there is a, a quality here that's really attractive to the Queen. The King of Rods knows what he's doing. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. He has something that he wants to do. He doesn't want to do it by himself. He, he doesn't want to do it by himself. He doesn't carry the same, doesn't carry the same allure. It's very interesting. All right, my friends, that is the reading for uh, the sign of Libra. I know this reading went on a little while, but that's what we have for you this month. I hope everyone stays well. Hope everyone um, is, is healthy and, and has moments of happiness and, and, Find, find steady success. All right, my friends, have a good month.